Howdy, welcome to another Lone Star Reactor. Uh, today we're going to react to uh, Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 2, called The King's Road. A little recap for the last episode. Uh, <laughs> this is a wild one. Uh, there's apparently some uh, incestual relationships going on. People getting thrown out of windows, people getting raped. You know, the HBO show. So yeah, we're going to... According to this, Linus just watching Sherbert's. I know that somebody has to go because there was some foul play and somebody's vying for that throne. So they're going to, the only only person that the fat guy trusts is, the, is uh, Boromir from Lord of the Rings, Sean Bond, Sean Bean, however you say his name. So we're going to get into it and we're going to uh, see what's going to happen. Lady, uh, she looks like an elf. The shadow lands beyond the shy. They say there are fields and ghost grass. The stalks as pale as the the dawn the night. The world is all other grass. The Dothraki believe that one day it will cover everything. That's the way the world will end. Dothraki are some really weird people. We're led by Aquaman. Looking bitches and you're used to, Uncle. <laughs> I can stand the wailing of women. One word and I'll teach you again. I'm telling Mother. Go. Tell her. Go. Tell her. But first you will get your Lord and Lady stock. And you will fall on your knees in front of them and tell them how very sorry you are, that you are at their service and that all your prayers are with them. Do you understand? You can't. Do you understand? The prince will remember that, little lord. I hope so. If he forgets, be a good dog and the night. things grow fast. Mm. Impressive. Shut up. Nymeria, gloves. Mm. I have something for you. And it has to be packed very carefully. Maybe that's not a dog. Maybe that's the thing right there. It's so skinny. So are you. Sticking with the pointy end. I know which end to use. That's Zora. Pointy and boots into the end. I'm going to miss you. Careful. I know we always talked about seeing the wall together. But you'll be able to come visit me in Castle Black when you're better. Such a good idea. Last time I recall, there's some really bad, nasty things on set down there. So he is an illegitimate child, she said. You left, he had another one's son. Assuming that's him, she explain why she don't like him. I think I could be wrong. 
be down in the comments section with Mark. Is my mother alive? Does she know about me, where I am, where I'm going? Does she care? The next time we see each other, we'll talk about your mother. No, tell me now. Mm -hmm. I promise. He's got that big wolf for a pet. He's a good one. She got a wolf too. Oh! 
chance to speak up. Chained up. Outside your grace. Just minding their own business playing this little punk of a prince just had to ruin everything. He's a bully and a coward and a pride and babe. The butcher's butt. You ruined him down. He ran. What? He didn't even do anything. These people are freaking evil. for power and they're ruthless. This episode demonstrated that perfectly well. But I find the red-headed girl, the, the, the tall one, Iris, older sister, I find her even more disgusting because that's not family. You can't expect people who aren't family to have your back. If your, your family is supposed to be there to have your back, she didn't, oh, it happened too fast. No, oh, come on. And now you lost that, that wolf. The wolf, a freaking dog and wolf has more honor than these people. Ooh, this is going to be a bumpy ride, I can tell. And the whole thing with um, with her teaching the sex moves so she could uh, please Aquaman was awkward and weird. And I felt could have been cut out of the episode entirely. Uh, although the story about the moon being like an egg, that was pretty cool. What if that's actually the rules of this world? What if that's actually where dragons came from? But yeah, that was pretty good. It's pretty good. It's, uh... For some reason, they have ex-rapists on the wall, guarding the wall, so... Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was... What's his name? The, the Bastard. I'm pretty sure he's gonna have some pretty despicable company. But we'll see what happens in episode three. Okay. 